The freedom for parents to choose the education they want for their children just got a boost in Montana. Jeff Lasloffi is president of Montana Family Foundation. Hi, Jeff. Hello, Stuart. It's good to be with you. And thanks for making time for us. Th this is all about a court ruling that recently came down, but I'd like first for you to talk about the law that's the focus of that court ruling. What did it do? Sure. So this was a bill that was passed in 2015 by the legislature that allows for tax credit scholarships. Basically, a corporation or an individual can make a donation to a tax to a scholarship granting organization and take a tax credit. Those dollars are then used to provide scholarships that students can use to then go to the private school of their choice, including private religious schools. And the key there is religious schools, because that's where the state took exception and said, no, we can't do that. Correct. So the Department of Revenue, under the instruction of the governor's office, stepped in and said, you can provide these scholarships for to go to any school that you want in the state, except private religious schools. This is patent viewpoint, viewpoint discrimination. And in fact, the attorney general told the Department of Revenue, if you continue down this path, it's absolutely indefensible and you're on your own if you get sued. They did get sued both in state and federal court. And the decision that you just referred to in the Espinosa case is the second positive decision that we've received in this case. Now, the part that caught my eye on this that I think may be instructive for other states around the country that would like to set up uh, this kind of program is what the judge had to say about tax credits. Essentially, that a tax credit is money the government never gets, so they can't decide what to do with it. Am I getting it right? That's correct. So Montana has what's called a Blaine Amendment, and so do roughly 30 other states. These are amendments to their constitutions that say that you cannot use public dollars um, to fund private religious education. And our contention and the court precedent both say that these are not appropriations, they're a tax credit, that those dollars have never been transferred from the private to the public side, and therefore it's, if, the, if the dollars are not in public coffers, there no, there's no way for public entities to make an appropriation. And so um, that's what our argument has been for nine years. And finally, we got this case before a judge. And in fact, before two judges, a preliminary injunction before one district court judge, and then a final um, injunction before another court judge. And they both said the same thing. These are not appropriations. Now, my understanding is the state is still going to appeal this. Yes, the state's still going to appeal it. They're basically, they're placating to the teachers union, which is their base. Um, and they're going to lose in the end. This case on point has already been decided by the United States Supreme Court in a similar case out of Arizona. And we won that one. Uh, we, as the attorney general in Montana said, this is absolutely indefensible. All the precedent is in our favor. And um, this is a fool's errand. It's basically a waste of taxpayer dollars for them to appeal this, but they're going to appeal it and we're going to win. Montana Family Foundation is one of the 40 groups that we're proud to be allied with around the country. Jeff, thank you. Stuart, it's always my pleasure.